Hey everybody, welcome and thanks for joining me and my sidekicks for another video. I have a Stitch Fix unboxing for you today. It is Stitch Fix day. Super excited to do this unboxing. I might have taken a sneak peek so I know what's in here and I got a mix of summer and fall. So transition goodies in this box for me today and I can't wait because my stylist has been doing a great job. I got a new one a few months ago, two months ago, Cassandra, and she's really been um, doing a great job getting to know me, and I so appreciate it. $20 styling fee. You get a stylist. You fill out a profile. Um, you get to play their style, their, their style game where they do a shuffle of all kinds of um, clothing items, even outfits, and you can pick and choose, thumbs up, thumbs down for what you like and what you don't like, which I believe helps build up the algorithms for items that your stylist gets to choose from for you. So you get better um, matched with items that hopefully you love. And uh, I do the style pass, so I don't pay the $20 fee. Um, so for $49, that covers me for the entire year. Get five items, keep what you love, send back what you don't. If you keep all, there is a discount. All right, so before I open it up, Zena can't wait to say hi. Do you want to say hi? It's warm out today, so she's happy to be in the shade. Wyatt's here somewhere. Wyatt, do you want to say hi? I think he's under my chair, so hopefully you'll see him in just a little while. So right inside the box, as soon as you open it, it tells you what to do in case you're not sure. And here's what the inside looks like. You do get, as I said, an envelope to return anything you don't love and don't want to keep. You get another envelope that has your price sheet, your list of a price sheet with all your items, a note from your stylist, and some ideas for how to wear the items you receive. And of course, your bundle. Definitely looking like fall transitions, right? The bundle's getting bigger, heavier, and darker. All right. Let's dig in. So first up, looks like a top from Cupio. It's a t-shirt. Oh, it's a longer t-shirt, so it looks like a tunic tee with a little pocket, a little bit longer in the back than the front. And it's a little heavier, so it's kind of nice. It's um, soft, it's stretchy, and I like it. It'd be nice for layering with leggings, under Cardi's jackets. Nice. That's the first item. Next up is a top by Beacon, and this is blue and white. Looks like just an abstract print on it. Has the little v-neck. That's cute. I like that. Something else blue here. Oh, I think this is a dress. Yep, I did see this in my little preview. This is a dress by Leota. And it has a little faux cross over here at the top. And it is a blue and white polka dot. Ties has a tie belt here at the waist and flares at the bottom. And it is a nice mat jer nice jersey material. I like the white um, piping here on the on the around the neck. I like that. That is pretty. Alright, next, something from Liverpool. This is so cute. It's a jacket. <laughs> So, of course, I get so excited. Check this out. So, <laughs> it's a jacket I love. It's Liverpool I love. It's denim I love. And it's a moto. <laughs> and look at this very cool color. So, it's a purple. And it's got stretch. Do you see that? Oh, I love this. I so love this. So it has um, jean jacket style arms, so snaps, not zips, which is nice. And then it has the uh, moto style zip up the front. But no other than that, no extra, no extra buckles or zips. 
the rest is like a jean jacket. So it's like a crossover. Is that not cool? So obviously, I'm already in love. Oh my, it's terrible. I'm so easy when it comes to this stuff. I love it. <laughs> What's the name of it? The Liverpool Bradford Moto Denim Jacket in Dark Purple. I love it. I love purple going into fall. So excited. Okay, my last item. Looks like jeans. This is also by Liverpool. These are high rise. These are called the Tinsley High Rise Skinny Jean. And it says our ankle high rise, our high rise ankle skinny jeans are designed to slim and lengthen your body. Super soft, super stretched, denim keeps its shape for all day comfort. This is what I read. And it just shows a picture of the jeans. This is what they look like. They do look like a high rise, huh? There's a thread. So these are nice. Um, they have no distressing. Normal, nice. So these would be work appropriate. Also some great stretch. Awesome. So these are nice. We'll just see how high the rise is. Um, make sure I like them as far as fit goes. All right, let's see what my stylist had to say. Okay. Oh, I have a different stylist. All right, so let's read my note. It says, happy fix day, Laura. My name is Krista. And I've been honored to be your stylist today. Cassandra wasn't available, but I'm happy to step into the into the breach and provide you with a lovely fall-oriented fix. You had mentioned you'd be ready for full-length full bottoms in September, so we're kicking things off with these super nice Liverpool jeans and a dark indico wash as your new denim go-to. They're so easy to dress up or down. I saw you pinned an eggplant-colored jacket on your Pinterest board, so I just had to send this Liverpool Moto denim jacket since you love simple staples. I'm including the Cupio Blush Knit Top, for easy layering and I'm loving this with the embroidered driftwood jeans you kept last time. I kept with classic patterns and no florals in sight. I think I said I was over florals um, for a little while. Let me know what you think of everything and enjoy your try on. XO Krista. Hmm. All right. And then of course they always give you um, ideas of how to wear some of your items which is nice. Like the little moto with the dress. Okay. So I don't think Krista did too bad. So let's, uh, let's check this out and go straight to the try on. I'll be right back. Okay. So for the first outfit, I have on the high rise Liverpool jeans and this cute little top. It's super silky, has this little bit of a pleat right here. Gather right here at the, um, end of the V on the neck. It has a nice flow to it, but doesn't stick out. Very pretty. I put this outfit on with booties I actually got in a previous Stitch Fix. Even though it is super warm out here, it is 82 degrees right now. So it's hard to get fall ready when it's that warm out. The jeans are very nice, so they're the perfect length for me, as you can see. They are a high rise, but they are below my belly button. They have great stretch to them. No gaping in the back. And I think they fit rather nice. So I like them. Hopefully you guys can see with the lighting, I try to do the sun behind me, but maybe the sun's supposed to be behind the camera. Here's the full look. So hopefully you guys can see this. Here's a closer look of the shirt. And here is the jacket. I do actually think the sun is supposed to be behind the camera. So let me switch this real quick so I can make sure you guys can see. I think you're going to get shadows now. But okay, so here's the jacket. It's got wonderful stretch. I think it looks cute over top of the navy. I could also do a front tuck probably with this top. There we go. 
I think that looks really cute too. Going into the shadows now. Here's the full look. <coughs> oh, I don't know which side's better, guys. Sorry. Some of the bad things about being outside. Hopefully you guys can see. I do think this jacket is adorable. I love the uh, moto front. I like that you can have this side zip here. It has the zip, zippers right here, zipper pockets, and then the regular jean jacket um, sleeves. Let's try on the other shirt. Okay, here is the little white tee. Oh, I just sneezed. I think, I think you guys have seen that white now moving around. But this is the little white pocket tee. So it is a nice longer length, would be great for leggings. It's just a basic nice cream color. Going into the shadows here. Here's the full length. I think it's cute. It's a nice basic, it's super soft. Hopefully you guys can see this. Very cute. I could do a front tuck and try it on with the... with the motor jacket again. I'm sorry if the lighting is not great. I'm gonna do the replay and, and think this is like not good. So I'm going to apologize in advance. Someday I'll get this right, guys. All right, here's the meadow again over top of the cream top. And here's a closer look. Leave it out or tuck the whole thing in. I think it is, I think it's a cute basic. This is just a basic tee. I think it would be really great over leggings is what I'm thinking. I really do like the moto. All right, now we, let's try on the dress. That's the last item for you. Okay, so I have the very last item on. This is the blue and white polka dot dress, has the tie here in the front, the V. It's a little bit longer, goes down past my knee. The fit and flare style. Here's the full picture. And overall, it's a cute dress. It would be pretty with a colorful jacket, colorful shoes, white jacket. Not bad. I don't know. What do you guys think of the longer length? Does that make me look shorter? Can't tell. Am I like, I can't even see now. The sun's in my eyes. Hopefully you guys can see me. I think it's pretty. I do like the little white piping around it. All right, let's do a quick wrap up. So what did you think? Is it a five for five? Let's talk pricing and see. Oh, this one was a pricey one. All right, so all five items would be $328. If I kept them all, there's a 25% discount, $82, which would bring the whole box to $246 if I kept everything. All right, so first up is the Liverpool Tinsley High Rise Skinny Jean. These were $78. So I liked these. High Rise is not my first pick, but these did, did fit well. I do like the darker rise, and these would be appropriate for work. So I'm thinking about them. 
Next is the Leota Finley Faux Wrap Knit Dress. What did you think of this? This was $88. I think this is pretty. I'm not sure about the longer length on me. What did you think? Do you like it? Let me know. But I do think this would go well into fall over with a jean jacket, with a blazer. I think colors with this would be nice. Pink shoes. So it's a maybe. The Beacon Alicia Pleated Detail Knit Top. That's this. This was a nice basic. It's super soft. It can be dressy or casual. And I kind of surprised myself because I really liked it for such a basic. So I can't call it a wow piece, but it actually would be easily dressed, thing, be dressed up or be casual. And it's comfortable. So I kind of liked it. And I also feel this would pack really well, which would fit into my lifestyle. It is only $36. So I'm thinking about that as well. And of course, the Liverpool Bradford Moto Denim Jacket. I think you guys know how I feel about this already. This is 98. I love it. Love the color. Love the style. Love the stretch. I'm in love with it. It's going to have to stay with me. <laughs> but I'm sure nobody's shocked. <laughs> I actually thought these three items made a really pretty outfit as well. Next up is the, and the last item, is the Brandley One Pocket Knit Top. This was only $28. I actually didn't think this was a bad basic. I liked it for um, leggings. So, if I kept all, um, I really think it comes down to this dress. So I need to know what you guys think. Is this a, buy, is this a keep all? Do you like this dress? Do you think it'd be worth it? And basically, um, I'd be getting, with a discount, it would make this dress free. So I need to know what you guys think. But overall, I thought my, st my new stylist, or I don't know if she's sticking around or not, but I thought Krista did a great job. So good job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please, please, please comment below and let me know what you think. I will list all of these items for you in the description box in case you want to ask for any of them from your stylist. I will also put my link down below for Stitch Fix in case you want to give it a try um, because if you use my link, you get $25 off your next box and I do too. So it's a win-win for both of us. Um, I will go back and update the description box and put kept or returned next to all of my items once I decide what I'm going to do but that'll be after I read all of your comments because um, I need your help uh, to decide. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for spending some time with me and the sidekicks today. I hope you had fun. I know we did. Zena is ready to go. Do you just want payment? She just wants treats, right? <laughs> Please consider hitting that like button. Please consider hitting subscribe and hang out with us for the long haul. And if you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, everyone. Have an awesome day. Bye.